All right, Steve, I know you're here to break down all the numbers. That's what you do, and that's why we enjoy having you. Thanks for joining us. Sixers certainly seem to be in commanding position with this 2-0 lead over Toronto. What does the math tell you about the likelihood of the Sixers taking this whole first-round series? Yeah, I mean, you're right, Amy. They've looked good. The Toronto is banged up here, and the computer models taking a look at this series right now certainly like the Sixers' chances of advancing. If you look at basketball reference in their model, for instance, they have the Sixers right now with an 80% chance of finishing things off winning the series, only a 20% chance for the Raptors. And you know what? The real opportunity for the Sixers in Game 3 going north of the border is this stat. Since the NBA has had best of seven series, since they went to the best of seven going back to 1984 when a team has fallen down 0-3 in a best of seven series, and that's what will happen to the Raptors if they lose tonight. Those teams are 0 and 104 when it comes to winning the series. It's never happened. They've never come back and won from an 0-3 deficit. So the opportunity the Sixers have tonight is to move into that category of the 104 and 0 teams, the ones that got off to a 3-0 lead in the series. Even if the Sixers lose tonight, the Raptors are still up against it when the lower seeded team is down 2-1 in a series, still overwhelmingly. The higher seeded team ends up winning that series. So either way you slice it, you take into account injuries to all of that. The Sixers a prohibitive favorite in this right now. And what that means is you can at least start to look with one eye, maybe mm -hmm. with part of one of your eyes, at what could lie ahead here. Obviously be the winner of the Heat Hawks. And again, there's the top seeded Heat with the 2-0 lead on the Hawks. And if you look at that same basketball reference model, they think there's an 89% chance right now that things stay the course. The Heat end up winning the series only about about a one in nine shot there that the Hawks win the series. So the computer certainly leaning heavily towards a Sixers heat second round matchup. And one other thing that might be fun to look at. That's what the computer expects. What do the fans think? They've been watching these teams play their first few playoff games in both conferences. Where are the fans betting their money? Where are their expectations here? These are the NBA title odds updated from our friends at points bet just today. And you can see the Sixers are sitting there 14 to one again, fourth seed in the East. Maybe on a collision course with the Miami Heat in the conference semifinals. 14 to 1 shot in the Sixers. There's some people who might say there's a little value in mm -hmm. that right now. And for what it's worth, if you want to go see where Toronto stands, just about the longest shot on the board. 200 to 1 on the Raptors right now. That's where the public is and isn't putting its money right now.